Um, if she's having issues with uh, piriformis, more like gluteals, and we had done some work on Allie the past three days, she has a little bit of tension uh, through, through there, but I'm just gonna kind of bring her through, through a range of motion, okay? So I'm just exploring. This is the reason I don't, I don't drape. If I had her draped and she was kind of like tucked in, if she gets a breeze, she's naked. And I'm just completely moving around, I'm not even worried about that. Now the other thing is, if we worked without a sheet, now when the client's done, we could just wipe down the table, it's COVID anyway, makes sense? Right. So if it give you a little isolation, how's that, Allie? Oh, yeah. Is that too much? No. Okay. Yeah, so she's right in my holster. Ready? Texas. Yeah, right, right in, right in the holster right there. So all the weight is really coming from, from my body, and I'm just isolating here. Not too much, Allie? Okay. And I just check in with her. Again, it's a little harder for me to see facial expressions. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring her back and out and over. Hey, Allie, how's that? Okay, how's this? Not too much? Is it too much here on the adductors? No. Okay. How's it in your low back over here? Three points of contact. Is it too much in your hamstrings? How's it in your IT band right here? <laughs> How's it in your arm right here? Stevie's going to bite me. <laughs> so when I, when I bring her over like this, let's do like a, a quick anatomical analysis since my detractors say that I don't cover anatomy. When I had my hand here, what was I working on? Gracilis, adductor magnus, adductors. Maybe a little bit, yeah, maybe sartorius. Mm -hmm. So I forget my origins and stuff. So even me, I'm like sartorius. Also, it's Latin for uh, uh, tailor. Did you know that? Because the way the tailors like cross their legs when they were doing the stuff is called sartorius. Is it too much pressure? Okay. So when I bring her like this, it lengthens semimembranosus, semitendinosus, biceps femoris. When I roll her over like this, what part of like the gluteals does it access? Piriformis, I feel, I feel it in my form. The deep lateral rotators. Now, what does it do to her lumbar spine? Rotatores. Rot kind of rotate. Maybe maybe a little bit of QL? Oh, definitely. Yeah. So and this is just one movement. And then we, we just talked about all of that, like in just one one quick movement. It's always good to like analyze it. What I go with is like, oh my God. Because that's where the tips are. Make sense? How are we doing there? Good? Okay. Now I'm going to bring her back and over slowly. I'm going to straighten her out just by dragging her. There we go. And I'm going to do the opposite side. So one of the things I really loved about this was as a male therapist, I was working with women. Uh, I worked in a spa initially, so like 80% of my client base, the women who were coming in, were like getting their hair done with the hairdressers. Um, very different than the service I was delivering. How's that, Allie? Okay. Um, I was using the legs as a handle to reach completely down into her pelvic bowl, around her sacrum, in her lumbar spine, in her adductors, but I didn't have to put my hands there. I was using the legs as a handle, like a fulcrum, to reach down inside her body and address that stuff she was having problems with. Pressure's okay, Allie? In your horror? <laughs> I slowly rotate her over. How's that? Right there? Good? Not too much? Okay. Now, let's say for some reason she just, whoo, it was too much in the hamstrings. You just let her bend at the knee more. 
And when she bends at the knee, it takes a little bit of the hamstring out. She was fine there, but I'm just trying to, when you're moving it across multiple joints, right? Doing okay there? <laughs> Switch the camera three. Uh, try camera four. That's good. Leave it there for now. You dying, Allie? And then right in lumbar. How's that? There you go. It just feels kind of stuck right here. It's like not a huge amount of mobility through the lumbar. You just squish it on the QL a little bit? Paraspinals more so. Okay. So what muscles directly in the lumbar spine am I pressing when I'm pressing on the, the paraspinals in the lumbar? Because I forget all the names because there's like multiple layers, right? Uh, the rectus spinae. Yeah. And then how's your IT band right here? There you go. There you go. There you go. Too much? Okay. Next to that connected tissue. And then I'll just slowly back her out. So how does that feel on your low back and your glutes? How much does it hurt my hands? That looks completely like Stretch Lab. I mean, it's just, I see their stuff and I'm like, oh my God, man, they, they figured that part just out. Packaged it and marketed it to try. Exactly. <laughs> but in a commodity marketplace, here's a problem. You do massage, 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 massage. What does the public think is different? That's why branding is important. If you talk to Texans and you say, hey, let's go to In-N-Out, gross. Have you no pride? We're going to Whataburger. Because <laughs> they've chosen their brand. That's important. Uh, do you guys want to give and receive that? Yes. You're moving across multiple joints. Tons of options. Just play with the movement and play with your body positioning. I want you to feel comfortable while you're delivering. And just make sure to communicate them with them about pressure or like depth of stretch. There we go. What? What's that? I gave you that. Well, I think it's just, I think so it's just the, the mechanics of it. It's more than for me. For that, just yeah, it's like a body a muscle and everything. Yeah, just like and I'm like several times a week when my knees have got such stimulation. So, um, like from a regulatory standpoint, when we talked about stretch lab and stretch zone, how do you feel about me taking people who have no license and teaching them double footed compressions where they stand on people? I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> so here, so here, here's what I do is I go in and talk to my lawyer and my lawyer, oh boy, it's going to be a rough phone call. This has been COVID. I got divorced. Like I had all kind of legal stuff. Like I'm going to go to my lawyer and my lawyer is going to be like, oh, Robert, good God. How the hell? Robert, why is your stuff so complicated? 
He's like, you're a massage therapist. Your industry is full of unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> and it's like, no, it's not. It's full of legal challenges and precedents. And all he does is try to keep me out of jail. <laughs> now, here's, here's the real problem. You can't really make use of suspension until you know how to work on a mat. You can't make use of suspension until you know how to work on a mat. So, right now, you're, you're digging a ditch with a hand trowel. And I'm like, it's horrible on your hands. Let's give you a shovel. And after the shovel, oh, we got a backhoe over here. We're going to get some work done. The problem is, if you don't know already, already know how to dig a ditch, I don't know if I should teach you how to operate heavy equipment. Does it make sense? When the massage therapists see it, I did webinars years ago, three years ago. The webinar almost... Okay, I want to point out, this is the first one. Congratulations. She's doing mat work. <laughs> now, if you work at Massage Envy, you just got fired. Really? Yes. They don't allow the therapist to get up on the table. You have to keep one foot on the floor at all times. They've got a sign on the door that says, if you start coughing, your session will end immediately, and you will be escorted out of the building. Sign is strange. So why did you get up on the table? Leverage. And here's what I say. Ease. Your mat is far too high off the ground. <laughs> yeah. Um when I when I would run a webinar and it was like I would walk the student along. And when we got to suspension, the entire webinar was shut down. Oh my Lord. They were like, I want that thing. I want that thing now. And I'm like, everybody wants a lightsaber. Nobody wants to study fencing. Um, it's a completely mobile unit that allows you to do yoga therapy on yourself while you do double-footed compressions with your feet, myofascial release, and trigger point work with your feet on her. Effortlessly. So it's kind of like ashiatsu? It's Thai massage on steroids. Oh. Are we learning that today? No. Tomorrow? No. When will we learn that? <laughs> what do we sign up for? Uh, I don't know because I don't have a studio that would allow me to teach it because I'd have to set up suspension systems, but I'm getting ready to unleash, are you ready? An online course. Now, am I going to limit who buys information from me? That's a, well, that's a big debate. You see what I'm saying? Like I've, because I'm trying to figure out who to give it to. What I can tell you is I've been teaching what I teach for 10 years. Massage therapists on the whole do not want it. I post video constantly. We had to stop posting suspension videos. Because all the comments said, I want that thing. I want that thing now. And I'm like, you have no idea how to use your legs and feet. Yeah. And they're like, I want that thing. I want that thing now. It's a weird, like, construct. Make sense? Yeah. Kristen works with me as an apprentice in Austin. She worked with me a complete, solid year before she even asked about suspension. Oh, wow. Why? Because she just wasn't interested? She doesn't know how to use her legs and feet, and she was going to have to transition her clients from the table to this crazy thing. Because uh -huh. she's learning, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh. work. <laughs> so... When I talk to Andrea and Kristen now, and, and I ask Andrea and Kristen, listen, you're both using suspension now. When do I start teaching this to the therapist? They're like, oh, my God. They're like, dude. And I'm like, see, this is the, this is the thing for years now. It's like, what do we do with this? How do we package it and make curriculum systematic so I can walk you through it? 
Is anybody dying? You need help with range, like distance, range? Allie's dead. You, you can lean some more. Lisa's okay. doing good over here. A little bit. You, you told me to give you just a little bit. Did you know I how are you guys doing temperature wise? Y'all okay? What's that? How y'all doing temperature wise? Just making sure. So here's what I wanted to do. Intro and table ties 30 hours. Phase one was 30 hours. Phase two was 30 hours. Then we'd go into a specific condition and treatment protocols for another 60 or 90 hours. Then we'd eventually get to suspension. If I make a curriculum that long and say, hey, it's only going to take like four years, <laughs> do the therapists want to go through with it? No. <laughs> Here's what the therapists want, and I find it interesting educationally. They want to take a two-day class, and it's like, well, it's just a modality, right? Carrie, how long have you been using this? Four years, four. I think that's right. I don't think the suspension would get us out too much. Oh, no. Huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, so now, guess what happens? The entire Ashiatsu community is going to send people to my house and burn it down. <laughs> the, the Ashi community is intensely matriarchal. Oh, it's just the pitch right in the park <laughs> Okay, that's pitch right in Major, major hate mail. Major hate mail. In my world. It's already bad. I can't even imagine. Now, how many Ashiatsu practitioners come along and want to study what I'm doing? Very, very few. Yeah. Because it's not coming from a trusted authority where they're already learning Ashiatsu. Because I'm coming from a different tradition, which is like Thai massage, sort of. Make sense? Leverage. So she said she got a lot of work yesterday, Pressure. and that hip was still really sore. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So just keeping so the knee is bent. So is this helping it, the soreness? Uh, whenever she, I was really afraid it was She not. was afraid, I thought yeah, it was she's really afraid of that yeah. side. But when she did the other side, it really did feel Relax. better. Relaxed. Yeah. So for, for, for you, what I think of is like the difference between stretching and mobilization. Correct. Yeah. yeah. The gentle yes. version with the mobilize, like, uh -huh. oh, right to my edge. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that feels great. Yeah. 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 So, and then the Ashiatsu community doesn't want to start at the bottom, the beginning, because they're like, well, I already know how to use my legs and feet. And I'm like, I don't use oil. I'm not sliding. I'm not doing Swedish and deep tissue on steroids. I'm doing Thai massage on steroids. Yeah. See the difference? Yeah, totally. Yeah. yeah. So I'm I'm still trying to figure out how to how to codify and like put it together to walk people along. Yeah. No, no. And then why did you guys are you both doing Ashiatsu? The two of them. So why did you start doing Ashiatsu? Uh, yeah, to eventually well, because number one, I just loved marketing. Yeah. And so uh, it was I was offering something that the other six people in town didn't offer. Yeah. And I'd always wanted to do it. And um, I was preserving my upper body. And yeah, and I I just knew that at my age it would be a good idea to in case I needed to. Transform like the girl that we took. Oh, on. I could feel it. It was like the lady I took my classes from. Mm -hmm. She was forced to do it because she had developed such a horrible carpal tunnel. Yeah. yeah. And, Who'd you study with? Uh, uh, Tiffany uh, here in Fort Smith. Yeah. So she's with Barefoot Body Works. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yes. I know Tiffany. Yeah. Yeah. That's who I took mine from. So. What I've what I've learned to do is that people ask me, they're like, I don't understand. What's the difference between what you teach and Ashiatsu? And I'll say, well, I think that what I'm teaching, generally speaking, is a little bit better for pain relief and mobility, give or take. Yeah. Now, there was an Ashiatsu practitioner who came into my studio from Colorado and another young lady who was interested in studying Ashiatsu and they were working together. 
and I was waiting for this because the, the lady in Colorado kept looking at my suspension, like trying to figure it out to like, the young lady she was working on asked, you know, what's the difference between what you teach and Ashiatsu? And I said, what I teach is biomechanically superior. And they were like, screw you. And I'm like, okay, like, I don't care. What I'm trying to do is you're going to use your knees in addition. You got more tools and you're going to have multiple points of contact. The mat is just a completely different platform. Ashiatsu's really good massage. I don't think it's as good as what I'm doing for like pain relief and mobility right. specifically, right. but that's just more my, more my focus. Right. It's not because I'm trying to disparage other teachers or styles. Like, no, 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 please go study with Tiffany. Like they, I'm sure she does awesome work. Like, uh, Jenny Spring used to be with Deep Feet. Now she's with the Center for Barefoot Massage. She like broke off from Ruthie. I send people to her all the time. I'm like, if you want to keep doing massage, go study with Jenny. She's close to me in San Antonio. I'm like, if you want to do pain relief and mobility, come study with me. Like, I don't feel a competition. I'm just trying to figure out how to, how to bifurcate and split curriculum to be able to allow the students to find what they want to do. I had a lot of clients asking for it. For Ashiatsu? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, and that was the, another good reason to do it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> More tools. Let's put it this way, for me to work so hard for so many years, and I do the best work I can do and I film it, I put it on, on, on YouTube and Facebook and massage therapists go, I don't get it, that's not massage. I'm like, how do you fix a car so dramatically differently that mechanics go, you're not a mechanic? I was like, what is that? Like, that's weird to me. It's not massage. Matt work. No, I just add yeah. something. You can't push it on it. Just call it body work. Uh-oh. Do you need a license to do body work? Yeah. Depends on the state. Depends on their laws. I have no idea. I only get that call three times a week. I'm like, get a lawyer. Aww. I'm like, I don't, listen, I don't make those laws. I don't got nothing to do with it. Just do your due diligence. Really? Wait till stretch lab is stretch zone. Get here. Oh, and state laws are, are different. They're really like they're fundamentally. There's just some changes from state to state that you got to be mindful of. Amen. How you doing there, by the way? Good. Not too much. <laughs> you don't go for a 20 minute bike ride, you go for a four hour bike ride. <laughs> I don't bike ride. Hmm. I go real slow, but I go in duration. Thank you. 
If you guys need my help in any way, just call me over. So I can press here on purpose just to get a little stretch there. Yep. Mainly what I think it does is like you're you're pulling the hips in opposite directions when you and isolate. Not letting this come up. Initially, I let it come up because I'm trying to see what her range of motion is. And then once I see, oh, she's at her edge, this leg comes along for the ride, then I isolate and lean in and like bring her to her edge comfortably. And I can do this as well. Yep. Yep, because that hand's free. Now you can do whatever you want. So let's say you don't like the hand. Can you do the forearm? Hmm. Ton tons of options. I could do both. Primary, oh, secondary, yeah. tertiary. Primary position. Secondary and tertiary options. Uh, you guys ever practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Martial arts. Very, I'm, I'm told it's very similar. They're like, Robert, the way you're doing this, like, this joint locks, man. You're putting people in joint locks with compressions. This stuff is like therapeutic Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. You're completely mobilizing people and then, like, using that to, to your advantage. You're using the body against them. And sometimes there's an arm bar. How many versions of an arm bar are there in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? Oh, dude, it's all over the place. Like they're masters at like joint mobility because they're trying to get people to tap out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'll teach you a primary position, but then there's all these secondary and tertiary things because you're doing the main work with your hips. Then you add the arms. Then you got all these other options you could potentially do. Yeah. Observation. Especially, let's see, how long have you been there? Uh, one year. Yeah. One year. Yeah. 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 And you may already know. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of times when you're working with them, yeah. well, yeah. 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 make sure you address the hamstrings. I have a whole lot of that okay. stuff yesterday. <laughs> okay. Good. They're normally tired. Okay. I think I so, but, when somebody has low back pain, and I bring their leg up and over particularly, I did. I did. Okay. As I bring them over and it starts to mobilize through the lumbar, I'll often ask them, do you feel that in your back and that spot you have? And they're like, oh, that's it. That's exactly it. Then they let me do the low back work. Does it make sense? That's what, probably what you were saying that you do mm -hmm. already. Yeah. Um, once they feel it in their low back, totally fine. But at first they're like, I don't, why is he working my legs? Right. Yeah. Dee's holding on to the mat. We we're nearing the end. Mm -hmm. So, piriformis. Who wants the next piece? She does. I just don't want to. I don't want to take deep. Brenda, correct? Brenda, yeah. Oh, Brenda does. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna work on her next. Okay, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> we move forward. Are you two done? You can't do that, man. Come finish me. I know. I was like, I don't want to think. Yeah, yeah. Matt a, work. She's such a giver. She. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> Much more leeway for Allie to get on the table than me. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Do people care if Allie gets on the table? Now, you no. take them and get a session with me and never met me before. I get up on the table. How do they yeah. feel? Well, there's, yeah, I, I, there's yeah. them and then there's me. You know, I feel like you go for it. Yeah, yeah. Energy stuff, power yeah. dynamics, yeah. like all sorts of stuff because it's like I'm clashing with the culture, <laughs> like kind of trying to expand. It's just something to keep in mind. And so when you're on the floor, it seems a little more um, okay, doesn't it? Partnership, tag team. Mm -hmm.
expectations are also different. They look at the service differently. Right. The benefit is, um, so in my case, like a mat, um, I think you were talking about working on people, being able to demonstrate. Um, I'm going to work on a, an event related to that with other therapists, by the way, is I can go into a Brazilian jiu-jitsu studio and throw down a mat, give away 30-minute sessions and go, hey, check this out. How many of those people then want to book a three-hour session? And I can use the recording if I record it. I can ask them, listen, I'm, I'm happy to give you a, a three-hour session at a slight discount for your first one to try it out. Would you be willing to leave me, a, leave me a great Google review if I substantially help you with your shoulder pain? They're like, oh, yeah, absolutely. Go ahead. Do you have a set routine in your three hours or do you start to say, like, where, let's just say, oh, would you... They might say, it, so my first. I would say the last five years, <laughs> the last five years particularly, it's completely improvisational. I literally have no idea what I'm going to do until you walk in and I go, what are you having problems with? Yeah. And then based on what you tell me, I'm going to customize a session. Mm -hmm. The thing about it was I had enough moves, so to speak, where it was really fun and interesting for me. Mm -hmm. And then I got a chance to test it. What I did was... The sequences that you see, intro tie, table tie, phase one, phase two, mostly came from my original teacher. It was the rudiments she taught me. But she did one very key thing. She was a Westerner, and she's like, Robert, go play. Meaning, go improvise. Don't, don't feel like, in other words, she was a little taller than me. And do, did I need to do it exactly the way she did it? No. She's like, you, you're a guy, you got different, you're a yoga teacher, you get all. So I. Results and that was all. Oh, dude! Every time I worked on you, it was like, was she better? Was she better? Was she better? Can we make it better? Can we make it more effective? Can we make it easier on my body? Can we make it more effective? I kept working at it, and then it was like, okay, deliver the sequences that the students can use, but continue to like break it open and record everything to show them how you were working. Because the students now that I've given them sequences are like. Oh, but what do I do for shoulder pain? Which is its own, like, maybe specific sort of sequence. Does that make sense? Yeah. So let me get to work on you here, Brenda. Did I answer your question, by the way? Yeah. So hop up. Because I got it set up for this. So piriformis, gluteals, hamstrings, right? Yes. Do you have a do you have do you, more right side or left side? My left side's more stuck. More stuck. Yeah. Okay. Tends to be. There we go. How's this right here? Okay. Okay. Now, what does this lengthen? Now, if I did this to her and she was draped, how would she feel? A little bit. I mean, I've done stuff like that before, there's but you got to be, be really careful. There is draping. No, there is draping. They'll be covered, but there's draping. And, be and there is draping for this, and I do not do it, nor shall I. It just, for me, what happened was, is it felt like, and I'm a, may, I'm a guy, so I had no, to, like, factor it in culturally. Saturday. Like, if she got a breeze, I was so nervous that she'd feel exposed. Right. So, for me, it was just easier to do it clothed. And then once I developed yeah, a, a rapport, tell you why they're not coming back. Yeah. Then once I developed a rapport with her, if I would need to do unclothed work, oh, it's fine. I'll, I'll be back in a minute. Just undress to your comfort level and get underneath the sheet. I'll, I'll be back in just a minute. It was a very easy transition. So when I bring her over like this, knee to opposite shoulder. Piriformis. Piriformis is Latin. It means pear shaped. Pira. Formus, form of a pear. See? Latin. Anatomy. So bring it over. What, do you think I'm showing off? No, don't worry. I only use that word at parties to impress women. Like, <laughs> it's like, ooh, he spoke in Latin. Exactly. So when I come over, now I give you some shot put. Yeah. It's really not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I think the warm-up we just did helped a lot. And opened it up, right? Yeah. Yeah. how I feel it in here. On the other side? Yeah, like, you know, it's like it's... The pinch. 
Yeah. Okay. So That's I'm gonna I'm gonna stretching though, right? I'm gonna do something. So sometimes that little pinch in the front of the hip, I can't always tell is it muscle or is it the bony structure of her acetabulum, which means in Latin little vinegar cup. Acetabulum. Little vinegar. What are you laughing at, Dee Dee? You making fun of me? <laughs> She's not laughing. I'm trying to educate these people. So the way that the femur sits in the acetabulum, they can have lax ligaments, shortened ligaments, tight muscles, long muscles, and different bony structures. Some people's acetabulum is really deep, some is really shallow, like a whole combination of, of issues, right? I don't know why she gets a pinch, but I'm going to bring her just a little further over uh, lateral. And when I press there, do you get that pinch still? Okay, what if I go a little further? No pinch? It's still there. Still there? Okay. And I don't make any judgment. Is it too sharp? Is it uncomfortable when I press? It's not so uncomfortable I can't go through the okay. exercise. And I just want to make sure it's comfortable for her because I don't, I don't know her hips. We haven't worked together before. So if I bring you uh, up and over, how's that? Fine. No pinch. Okay. Now, how do I address compression to her piriformis and gluteals when she's on her back. When she's on her back. So could I come in, could, could I come in right here? Oh, no, that's old. This, we'll do, we're going we're gonna to do a new version. How's this? How's that? So how's this right here? Feels good. How's that? Pretty good. Now, a little, little more up or a little more down? Yes. <laughs> meaning, meaning both. I'll go yeah. just a little bit back and forth. So, tell Massage Envy I still have one foot on the floor. <laughs> now, knees are like elbows on steroids. They're just tucked up. Knees are like elbows on steroids. Right there? Yeah. James used to get on the table when I was face down and get both his knees and put them in my glutes and rock back and forth. And we're going to probably show that as well. But I right. wanted to give you a, a different option here. If I, if I bring you straight up and over, how's this? Now, Ooh, my hip... a little lower. Yeah. yeah. My, so, could I put my knee near the tailbone? Could I put my knee near piriformis? Yes. Could I put my knee near gluteus medius? Yes. Yes, a knee is an elbow and steroids. It'll go in all the, the same spots. I'm also doing what? I'm not pushing into the client. You're I'm receiving her. the client. I'm pulling her into my body. How's that? There, go. there we go. Now, how stressful is this to my hands? Who wants this when they see it? Everybody. <laughs> right there? How's that? Yeah. Like better? It takes away a little bit. The knee doesn't feel like it needs to, oh, it needs to be bad. And if you put, bend your knee, then you can like kind of do this and cheat. So if you keep that straight, it feels more therapeutic. Now, I could also use the opposite leg, but just a, a different, slightly, like biomechanics. You'll notice that I'm not stacked like this. I'm not stacked high. It's more like pigeon. Mm -hmm. It's more like pigeon pose. To make the opening, I'm just going to roll her up, and then I'm going to grab. And then roll her open. And that goes lower. It also depends on angle, positioning, leverage, all of that, right? Now, how would she feel if she was undraped and I put my knee on her bare buttocks? No, she's underneath the sheet. She's totally covered. And I roll her back and open onto my knee. No, no. That's the correct answer if you're in the West. Yes. That is the correct answer. Right here? Right there? Uh, How's this? <laughs> more medial or more lateral? Medial. That way? Okay. Fine. 
Oh, that's fine. It don't matter to me. Knee up towards the shoulder or knee back and open, like lengthening the adductors? When you go back like that, it just goes lower into my position. It feels better, but... Yeah. And I go with what, what she says makes her feel better. Does it look like I'm working hard? <laughs> now, I can also... You know, roll her, what would you say there? I said that's so good, thank yeah. you. So I'm gonna roll her back and open. I could repeat that two or three times with like different legs. Um, I don't want you to compromise your knees or your hips. When, when she's on me, you can even see the red on my leg right here. She basically is right there. It's a big part of my quad basically. Uh, that she's sitting on but, but like a little bony so a little bit it adds to but it. how is it compared to an elbow it's it's more rounded it's 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 broader when i tell people that thai massage is deeper than deep tissue i think a lot of it comes from the fact that it's not that we're really applying more pressure we're applying the same pressure with a much larger broader surface why can people take more pressure when they do ashiatsu? Same reason. Bigger, broader surface area. Size 10 feet or worse now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You guys want to partner up and do that? The first primarily lengthens piriformis and the deep lateral rotators. The second one is a compression to those same structures. Thank you for letting me demonstrate. That was awesome. Thank you. You laughing at me, Didi? I feel mocked. That's a, that's, a core, that's a core goal of the teaching assistant. When they get comfortable enough to mock me in class, you win. You. you win. It's just previous conversations just spark. <laughs> Insider or insider trade information. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Not true. That hurts. You are causing all kinds of issues on this side. Okay. And give her feedback. Do you want the elbow or do you want broad forearm? Broad forearm. Oh, okay. what are you doing? Yeah, it feels. So good. It looked like a little more elbow, but I was just checking in. A little more elbow there. Yeah. Yeah, it feels good though. <laughs> So when I did the shot put, the, the hamstring stretch to the leg, I was generally going knee to opposite shoulder. What happens if you go knee to same shoulder or bring them out wide and do lateral? It still stretches the hamstrings, it just changes the hip position. So your massage educator who teaches a discipline he is told is not massage and that no massage facility in Austin, much less the United States, would allow therapists to offer. Yay! Now you wonder why Robert drinks and is frustrated. And, and also got divorced. They're like, you're an asshole. I'm like, yeah, my ex-wife thought so too. <laughs> Happens. Happens. <laughs> So if I can't use my knees for that, what else can I use? Okay, so I'm gonna. Well, no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna give you some some quick options. Um, let me check real quick, just to see. Okay. 
All right. So let let's uh let's address this real quick. You can't use your knee. Right. I tried. I, I, I want bit, you to be okay. careful with your hands. Right. Is it possible? And I'm gonna I'm gonna see right here. Is it possible to use your fist? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Is that too much? Okay. I can't close this finger. Then that's that's what I was con yeah. concerned about. Yeah, I can't close. So finger. are you ready? And here's where things start to get more weird. I did not have a tennis ball. However, I had a handy dandy golf ball. Oh, you get the golf ball. <laughs> I got both. Now we'll see. This got some padding on it. How's that right there? I, it, I hardly feel it. Uh, I love that stretch so, but not too much. Is it too much with the tennis ball? I mean no, the golf no. ball? That's she says she's not even feeling that. Okay. Okay. She's just... You may you mainly feel it there. Let me, let me see it real quick. Okay, I'm feeling the golf ball. Is that yeah, that's perfect. And it also depends on the angle and it depends on where yeah. the golf ball is. Yeah. Usually I'd use a tennis ball, I just didn't have right. one in my bag. And that's okay. The tennis ball is bigger, mm -hmm. it's broader. Mm -hmm. Um I'll teach and this it's stuff. A little bit more uh Flexible. to clients to, to, to do to themselves. You're free to use that again, by the way, as okay. long as I get my golf ball back when I'm done. And also, um, I'm going to show you different ways of working the gluteals, for, probably from prone. Um, so we'll talk about that as well. Matt work. So the reason I would point out the mat work is I would wait till the students, it always happens, the second half of the first day, they start getting on the table. And I go, you're doing mat work, you're doing mat work, you're doing mat work. So, because they always want to understand, like, what's the difference between a mat and a table? And a lot of it is just leverage, and you get a chance to use your legs and feet more. Once I broaden your sense of using your legs and feet, you don't want to have those tools taken away. However, in position. There you go. Yeah. Sure. The tennis ball would probably be better. It'd be yeah, bigger. I've yeah. Got, I got tons of those. That's good to know. Uh, 
do it at your TikTok that I posted of you? Oh, okay. Learn that however you want. You know what I'm talking about. I know, you're duetting somebody's TikTok. Yours I, that you put up. Oh, I, I posted six of them. I don't know which one's which. I don't even remember. And then you duet it and you go, Robert's Thai massage is not traditional. It is inauthentic. He is unprofessional. He curses excessively. And we do not like him. I'm going to show you how to do it better. No and I go, oh, that's okay, hilarious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which is a hamstring. I forgot what's Knee next. under the glute gluteals. Okay. So there you go. Create some space there. So I would prefer your, your hips are going this way. I want you to have your hips facing in so that you're like this. There you go. And so you could use either I leg. Really sit down. You know. You're going to have to use this leg to support. Uh -huh. So why can't you sit down? The mat's too high off the ground. Ah, yeah. Two, three. Give him feedback, Allie. Is it too much? Okay. So this is the high shelf. There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. If you're trying to give her pressure in the gluteals, I want you to be in pigeon. Okay. Because so this. Okay. And you're going to have to support yourself with this leg here. Okay. Now, give, give her feedback on that when she pulls you in. Now, wrap underneath her knee and hug her into your chest and pull her back and open. Now, also, you're very tall and you're a much shorter table. I think that might be changing some of the body mechanics. Yeah, that's what I was just thinking. This totally hurts all of this right here. Because of the way it's stretching your quad? Yes. It's because the table's too short. Well, the thing is, when I look at you, you're just about my height. This is kind of low for me. Like, I can make it work, but I would probably have a table a little bit higher. I demonstrated on that one. Okay. Yeah. You can raise it up and see. Now, by the second day, here's what a lot of the therapists do. Remember I said you set the table at the height that you normally work. A lot of the therapists will take their table and drop it all the way down. Why? Because they want their mat closer to the ground. And I'm like, the lowest table setting is mat work. Yeah. My knees are tight. Perfect. Perfect. Fold right there. Very we did it. Perfect. So this is I was trying to let you get used to it. Oh, Robert, I need to get some more. Thank you. Oh, you're fine. Okay. Hmm. No, 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 no. So it's not wrong. It's just different. What I think it is is like this. It provides more of a shelf to pull her on. But do you see how nothing can poke in? When I'm like this, it's more pointed and allows a more specific like compression to the, the gluteals. Is that okay on your quad? It's still tight, but that's one okay. of the reasons I'm taking this class is to make me more flexible. We'll work on it. We also hadn't worked on quads yet. Matt, work. How's it going? Yeah. Pressure's good? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to oh, look, looky there. You went a little bit further that time. Yeah. It's still on the ground. <laughs> I'm not worried about it. If they want to come in my room and see if my foot's still on the ground, then I guess they can. Is that too good? I was going to say, how would they know? Yeah, exactly. It's just ridiculous. Can I do it right, Roger? He's How's it feel? <laughs> How does it feel? Intense? No. Sharp? Feels good. Pointed? You can get right into that. 
Mm -hmm. Now, here's the difference. You work on a 300-pound guy and do this. It feels deeper to him because he weighs more. You're stacking his body weight. You're using his body against him. Because you're receiving the client instead of pushing in. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. How's it feel? Is it too much on your legs or anything? When, when you do it, just make sure it is absolutely imperative that it feel comfortable for your body. Don't compromise and like do something that feels off. I can usually help you switch it, change it in some way that's going to work. I noticed it's a little cover. Have a Korean bathhouse. Alice. Oh man, I can't wait till post COVID and get a crew and go. I know, I'm ready. Dude, I, I told the apprentices, I'm like, I'm going to get you and a handful of friends. And like, I'm going to foot part of the bill and rent a van and we'll just pile in and go. So they have like a big party. Stop by and pick me up. Yeah. Actually, I'll meet you there. You live closer. I know. <laughs> I'm only like 15 minutes of no traffic. How's it on your knee? Uh, that's good. good. I mean, it is, I mean, I'm just tight. Yeah, no, no, so it's fine. this is going to be good for me because I can tell. Just stretch it's... yourself out. Work that's yourself. So that's what I'm like. Are you so kidding me? I'm like, once you get good it working on them then you get better at working on yourself and releasing all your tension because i get a chance to work on my own flexibility you'll gain more strength in your legs and core you'll gain more flexibility in your hips and your ankles very very common oh dude my when students work on me, my hip and ankle mobility, they're like, dude. And I'm like, oh, I'm not normal anymore. Like, I've been doing this for so many years. My hip and ankle mobility is off the charts for guys specifically. So, my inkling is to go higher middle and lower but okay, that's sorry. stay in middle is probably <laughs> best uh -huh. oh thank you yeah being a runner i've done lots of things with my legs to try to make them and i just make stuff up <laughs> okay. i've even done it when i'm been by myself i'm getting in trouble i'll give this I'm just trying to now this this I'm not get that because sometimes you can't. Mm -hmm. I've done. Why am I using anatomy? Why are you what? <laughs> you Why am I using anatomy? I don't like it. You don't like anatomy? <laughs> you eschew anatomy? I hated kinesiology. I didn't study it. I did pull up my transcripts recently, and when I graduated from the Baltimore Ooh, School of Massage, the York campus, in 2002, I'm, I hate to tell you guys, I, I got a B in anatomy. <laughs> Has anybody ever asked? <laughs> like, been working, been working for 18 years. It's like <laughs> just fi fix stuff. So, do we have a chance to give and receive? All right. So, who wants more gluteal work? <clears throat> You, she, she, she called it. She called it first. 
Uh, you want to flip over on your front for me? Sure. So in this case, I'm, I'm going to do this because we do have this, and this is kind of nice. This table is higher on this end. Of the it's, oh, yeah. It doesn't matter. Okay. I'm sitting here thinking y'all are using that for traction right here. <laughs> so it's higher on one end than the other. Yeah, Interesting. Yeah, Interesting. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> what am I going to do? Do it. Let them see it because it, it looks so cool. Oh, good. <laughs> if he's doing one, I think So good. everybody comes in and we use our forearms and elbows. And particularly if somebody was already prone and she was underneath a sheet, like could I come in and use my form and elbows on top of the sheet? Yeah. Constantly. What about your knee? What about setting the table at a lower setting and using your knee? How's that? Hmm. Now, why would I use my knee instead of my form and elbow? Hey. Bring up your hand. One or two? Two. two fingers. Oh, I couldn't see it. So, so this way. Right there? Sorry, I forgot what two was. One. There we go. Right there. Now, my other hand is free. I'm just going to palm press along the back here. Now, you'll notice that my hip position is almost like lateral to my knee. So I'm, I'm leaning in over here. If, if I got up on the table, it would mean that my hip is stacked above my knee. So I'm just sinking down even deeper. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with just leaning in like over to the side. It's just not as much pressure. That's why Ashiatsu works. You put the person's body above the client so you can just use body weight to do the work for you. Mm -hmm. How's that? How's your rotator cuff right there? How's that right there? Oh, yeah. How's your tricep over here? Oh, you sure? Oh, no, it does feel pretty good. Over here, teres. Oh, right in there. Okay, thoracic paraspinals. How's that? Need a little more right there? How's that? How's that? Too much when I lift you? No. Okay. Right in there? Okay. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go for an edge that will probably get you fired in most facilities, uh, by the way. Um, and you got to consider, again, like cultural context when you, when you do stuff with people. How's this? Would I do this to someone draped? No. <laughs> I wouldn't. I have. You would, Lisa? If you were well, blind I, person. I would like to with them because I know them. But, so you know, I know, I know if this version is blind. too intimate, just do it from the side. Okay. You don't have to do this. How does this feel? Even if they don't have their underwear. They're blind. The clients are face down. They half the time don't even know what we're doing. That's now, true. my hands are free. Invasive, does it, Lisa? I can Not press really. into the peroneals. Mm -hmm. I can press into the IT band. And I've got a nice forearm and elbow for... <sighs> Leaning. We went from mm -hmm. mobilization and stretching to compression with the knee to then compression with the elbow. Why did I go from knee to elbow instead of elbow to knee? His knee is broader, it gets it warmed up, and then the elbow can be more specific. General to specific, superficial to deep. You'll see that again and again and again. How's that right there? Doing good? Now, it's nice because I've got this additional handle. If I need to move her and go, ooh, right there or right here. 
Oof, is that too much? What if you lift up on that? That gets a little more. Mobilizes the hips. I feel a little clunk right there. <laughs> now, I'm not saying that you have to do this. Can you just do the version that you guys already know, which was similar to me using the knee, moving the leg, but you use the forearm and elbow? Sure. If this doesn't work, just leave it out. I really like this. I think it's even more fun on a mat, but it's not for everybody. Does that make sense? Now, what about back? Hey, how's this? How's that across your back? Oh. Oh. That's pose for good. Through there. How do you do this on a mat? Your feet or your legs are just stretched out. <laughs> this is a mat, it's just a mat in the sky. So to be like this. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Sky you stretch mat. Stretch me out everywhere. And sky mat. I'm all like, I, you know, I can't even. Sky mat. <laughs> it's also why classically I always wore shoes where I never laced them because it allowed me to slide the shoes off and then get back down when, when, when necessary. You doing all right there? Then to exit, I'm gonna lift her up and slide out and just bring her back to neutral. Do you guys wanna try those? So knee first, then forearm and elbow. If you don't want to get on the table, I don't make any judgments about that at all. Maybe your mobility doesn't allow it. Maybe you're like, I just don't feel comfortable doing that. Like he's getting between people's legs. That's kind of weird. Um, that's totally fine. I think we can do this just like you Right. Totally fine. Okay. And once your hand, your hands, you're already playing secondary, tertiary, all that stuff. Yeah. There you go. Oh, I like that. You don't like it. <laughs> no. But don't you like? It? <laughs> the table's in the way. The table's in the way. <laughs> it's a sky table. Sky table. But I just wanted to show her that we've done this. I know. I'm like, no, it's boring. This is like, this is all backwards. What's the matter? Sky burial. That's how I want to go out. Sky burial. I want one of those Tibetan vultures to eat my bones. Yeah, it's that multi point. Sky burial. It's just so, it's so metal. It's something I could do listening to Pantera. You know what I'm saying? Let's do this. How are we doing pressure-wise? Is it okay? Uh -huh. It feels comfortable to you? Yes. Okay. Do I look like I'm already? No, no, no. i just checking in. Okay. It also looked like you were up on your toes, oh, so I was just making sure that you're comfortable. And the reason you're doing that is the same thing with the ashi, like you were looking for more pressure. Yeah. Like yeah. for this, this is where the students start dropping the table super, super low because they're trying to get more leverage. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no, I'm not trying to get my knee up. <laughs> trying to always visualize what it looks like. <laughs> so I'll take a, a nice graphic of me, like teaching in class, like a nice photo. And then I'll put, I'll take Canva and put text on it. And I'll say something like, many of my students like to drop their table to its lowest setting. The lowest setting possible is a mat. <laughs> and you post that and massage servers are like. <laughs> but why do people respond to memes? I don't know. Cause, um, I have noticed that um, whenever we take our pressure off, we should. You did. Slowly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, deep compressions. If you can, release slowly. It uh, feels like the tissue recoils if we jump out. And thank you for bringing that up.
This uh, in between the legs, by the way, is very classic Thai massage. Very classic Thai massage, like just constantly, constantly seen. It was kind of pressed. Yeah. And Allie's like, what is this weird contraption? So if you signed up for the subscription service, it should automate an email to you or I'll send you one that has a link to our private Facebook group. The private Facebook group, you can ask me whatever you want and I just answer when I can, either via text or message or video or whatever. Can you help me with getting on the table and getting her leg up? Sure. So would I just get up real close? Feel that. Oh, my, my knee's bent. If you, if you can, it's yeah. almost like this leg goes right under here. <laughs> No, can you scoot up into her business? There you go. There you go. How's that? How's that feel? Does it allow you to use your forearm and elbow in there yeah. a little bit more easily? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There you go. Closer. I was just having issues with my the weight, and I didn't want to bend her and twist her while I was trying to get there. On the mat, <laughs> what'll mess it up is the students are afraid of, like, they don't want to get too close to their groin. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, no, get up in their business. Yeah, and yeah, they'll yeah, scoot yeah. up, and then yeah. all of a sudden, if you do it well, what'll happen is you're in this big crease, yeah. and then their knee falls between yeah. your knees. Yeah. If, if you do it well. Yeah. But sometimes, like, people's hip mobility or range of motion can be slightly yeah. disparate as well. So when people see ashiatsu, they think it's all crazy compression, two feet. When they see suspension, they think it's all crazy compression, two feet. The bars let you take pressure off mm -hmm. with control. Suspension allows you to take pressure off with control. Because it's not about just, just standing on them. Right. It's about m moderating the pressure right. with the tool size you've got. Yeah. <laughs> Matt, work. Shh. Yeah, I do that all the time. Go in. Right, that's what I usually do. I usually do, yeah, with my elbow. Matt, work. I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me take a breath. Right about there. Now, if you know, obviously the table's too high because I don't feel I can really. I'm That's not, why I jumped on the table. I'm not getting down. <laughs> yeah. But if it were down, I could. The more you stack your hip on top of your knee. Okay. Oh, okay. When I go from elbow like to shoulder, see I'm stacked high. Mm -hmm. It's like if I'm stacked like this, it's not as much pressure. Same same concept. Okay. So you're not going to get the full Monty because we don't we're too high. Well, how do you get up here? Can you scoot to your right a little bit? So that maybe I. A lot of times I'll go around like this around the world and. Then... Oh. 
actually like not in the meat. He'll get this left my... side feeling better. Yeah. They are. I'll so work in those actually. Yeah. Okay. I have three pairs of them. <laughs> 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 yeah, they're pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. And how is tomorrow the last day? <laughs> when when did that happen? I think tomorrow's Sunday, so I'm all screwed. <laughs> oh, dude, I barely know what day of the week it is um, half the time. Today is Thursday. <laughs> no, today's Saturday. My no. typical okay. day off. <laughs> There. All up in the video. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's my favorite. Oh, get in my booty. Get in the room. I forgot what I'm doing. Oh, get, get getting up. <laughs> yep. There you go. You're doing it. You're getting there. So easier. Okay. It gets easier with practice. Oh, I know. I heard really bad. I just did. Right there, and I feel it. Good. Working on your face. Here. There you go. Not too much, Allie. There's a K-Pock mat against the wall in the office right there. So, uh, for tomorrow as well, um, I gave you the workbook that comes with class. You can write your name inside of it. You can write in it. It's yours to keep. Um, if you decide you want DVDs or other workbooks or a t-shirt, just uh, come with cash or your card or whatever. We can take care of that before I forget. Uh, they're 80. Uh, intro and table tie is a set. Phase one is a set. And phase two is a set. Okay. Yeah. So and, everything we had done all this week is on that one table tie. And intro and table tie. One okay. set. Yep. Right, right there. Okay. So the, the DVDs follow the workbooks page by page with okay. a different model to kind of show it okay. off. Good. There. Yep. <laughs> good, good. Now, <laughs> if, if consumers see this, mm, no, do they nothing. want it? Nothing. If consumers see this, do they want it? Lions, I'm doing well. 
Well, and that is more, yeah, that's probably the correct answer. You, you may receive some hate mail from other massage therapists telling you that what you're doing is inappropriate. I'm just saying, just letting you know. We, we test, we test the marketplace. I've been, I've been banned from Facebook groups for posting video of me working on colleagues. And they say, Robert, do you get informed consent to do that? And I say, what is informed consent? <laughs> they're laying there. They look like they're participating. And they lose their minds. <laughs> is this how you did this? Yep. Sleep on your, your stomach. Yep. How's it feel? Good. Looks good. So, is it normal within Western culture to sit on people? No. I do it all the time. So, suspension allows me to transfer more weight to my feet and to my legs. Sitting is good for a guy, I think. Different? Slightly, slight variation. I mean, yeah. Now, t take a picture of this. Do consumers want this? Oh, see, I'm doing the same thing. Did you show us what the knee bent? And I just, I just wanted you to look at it from a consumer's perspective about what they think massage is. Conservative, conservative people would not up? want you to be up on them like that. Yeah. Come. I just feel a bit tired. Yeah. It supports me too. It supports mm -hmm. her here. Um, I released a video recently. Tim McCoy came into my studio. I don't currently have my suspension set up yet. He needed to work on his hamstrings and his adductors. I worked on him for an hour and 15 minutes, and I swear to you, I think I sat on him for an hour. Wow. Different legs, different hamstrings, different adductors. Advanced hamstring and adductor work, and I posted it on YouTube. Not a, not a, not a comment. If I take that same video and post it on Facebook and share it through Facebook groups, I even suspect they will respond differently because I'm working on a guy. But if I do that to a woman, they're like... Nah, 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 nah. Hey, this, this, is, this is just not even striking me as like... Yeah. I've okay. seen there... When you guys got up and you're, you, the... you got up on the table, oh no, but Dalton does it in khakis with correct anatomical language. <laughs> how you package it. It's how, my, uh, it's how you put it together. Mm. So in well, Arkansas, one of, these, one of these Facebook groups in Arkansas, they, took, they had a photo of somebody putting their knees and somebody's gluteals on top of them on the table. And the therapist posted it was like, what do you guys think about this? Because they're kind of huffy I want it. <laughs> about whether it's appropriate or not. Because it's, it's basically, it's a cultural thing, right? Like, even though we're working on people who are clothed, it's like, my work, in my opinion, is actually much more intimate than the work a lot of therapists do with naked people. I'm completely intertwining my body with you at points and moving you around. I have to admit, the first time, I got, when I first got that session, yeah, I really didn't know what to expect, so it was a little... That's a little intimidating. Yeah, I don't know, because... With, um, David with Oh my God. Um, and he, what, what were you doing? What kind of massage? He made me a full time session. Uh -huh. on a mat. How many years ago is he still around? I don't know. It felt good. I mean, I, did, I, did, I, did, I didn't back know when I was married. <laughs> I yeah. Years ago at a spa I was working at, I had just learned Thai massage. And the, the lead therapist was there, and I, I kept, we got a tie, 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 tie. And she wanted me to do like a little, some little sample work on her. And I did some sample work on her, and I did this. Mm -hmm. And she said, oh, my God. Favorite. The guy's, like, thing is going to be on my leg. No, sir, because they'll reach down and pull it over. Not a big deal. <laughs> but if you're a Western-trained therapist, I mean, you got to, so they're not teaching this in school. No. Let's just be honest, right? Um, they do not let me into core curriculum because it, it's me and core curriculum is like lighting a stick of dynamite and
when I leave after being in core curriculum for two days, the instructor is like, stop doing that. We're doing Swedish. You see the difference? Yeah. Cultural distinctions. The reason I bring some of that is not to be just a contrarian. It's to make you look at it culturally, to look at the marketing, the positioning, the packaging. What do people want? What are they looking to buy? And again, your clientele versus DT some of my clients are crazy. Where you've got people that have come to the point where they're like, right, right. And I'm like, I'm going to let me try like, anything okay. I want. <laughs> yeah. You know? Okay. Oh, well, and a little we had bit a, of this communication, too. Like, so okay. Okay. We had a, a mask yeah. dis dis dysfunction. Uh oh. Did you break it? Oh, no, it's fine. I only got about 100 more over here. So mm -hmm. co contextually, yeah. you just have to make it work for you in, in your specific facility and situation. Yeah. Me, I, I do what I can to irritate massage therapists because it's the only way I can get them to comment on my videos with hate mail. And thus picking it up on Facebook's algorithm and showing it to more people. It's like, but Robert, you're an asshole. And I'm like, that doesn't, that doesn't remove the logical validity of my statement. Okay, so oh. Touch your elbows yeah. and you just. Oh my gosh, I fall over. I can do it. <laughs> when, we, when I first did that, I was like, that's the coolest thing. Mm -hmm. And then you're supposed to be able to come into a headstand. <laughs> <laughs> it's too far to fall. The mat's too high. Robert can do it. <laughs> my daughter thought it was the coolest thing. What does it feel like when you do this? Good. But you're like 100 pounds so far. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. A little more than that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right here in the heel. But oh, your heel is too big. Yeah, very good. You want That's a lot you're, you're making your elbows pointy. Deeper. Yeah, this is good. I have. <laughs> Balance yourself on the Yeah. Yeah, of course. I don't know how much it is. I just know you're going deeper. Oh, that's yeah. as low as yeah. you want to go. Right, right, right above your knees, right? Yep. <sighs> if I just it's inch warm up. Yeah. My leg, I felt like my leg was wearing like a <laughs> belt. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Oh. I've got nothing mm -hmm. to the right in my... What, what you do in session... Hello. <laughs> ...is oh, almost... Not as important as how you package and put together what you do. The the marketing and the advertising is almost there you go. 
more important if you're drawing new clients specifically? Your work's ought to be good. We're always going to work as artisans. But how you package it, what you call it, how you present it, the service that you uh, put together is a really important component of what we are delivering to the public. What does the public think massage is currently? And this is 2020. What did the public think that massage was in 1980, 40 years ago? What did they think massage is in 2020? Body work. Ooh, man, that hurts. It hurts. Because I, I think, yeah, it's like there's a mandala and some crystals somewhere. Yep. A little bit. A little bit. Um, so let's twist it for a second. Now you do Thai manual therapy. Can you do that legally in Arkansas? <laughs> Can you call what you do manual therapy? Probably, I would yeah. suspect so. What do people think manual therapy is? Yeah. So, see, it's just words. It's just words. It's just like when I lost the trademark for Reboot, there were people in my camp, in my business, who were like, oh, man, you know, they were, almost, they were like sad about it. And I'm like, dude, we'll just pick a new name. And they're like, no, nah, but the reboot name was really good. And I'm like, eh, it was okay. I mean, it would have worked, but it's like we just put another label on it. Don't call it massage. Call it manual therapy. Who wants massage and who wants manual therapy? Well, you, you're going to have a marketing challenge. How many people are searching for manual therapy on Google? Yeah. Yeah. We got to think about the packaging. You think about what you call it. Do you just tell people, listen, I've added a stretch session to my massage. Yeah. 30 minutes. For, for just, just this month, if you, if you get an hour session with me, I'm going to gift you an extra 30 minutes of stretch. Because now you get a chance to practice. Now, once they get that hour and a half with the stretch, do they want to go back to an hour? Ah, that's how you catch flies with honey. Ooh, mean calves. Mean calves. Oh, mean calves. Ooh. Ooh. My calves are always on. So when you guys are selling ashiatsu, are people searching for ashiatsu? How do you go about selling a mashiatsu when they expect just standard table mm. massage? Well, when I came home, when I was new at it, I just said, I learned something new. I'd like to try this on you. You don't want to pay for it at the end if you like it. Or if at any time you don't like it, we can come back to one another. But I think, I mean, I, you know, the glutes and the hammies, I'd talk about, you know, how. I just think it's so much more effective because I weigh 140 versus trying to get this leverage with my elbows and arms. And I think you're going to like it because it's a broader base so I can go deeper and it doesn't hurt as much. Yeah. You know, and they were all in. And then I'd see them the next time and I'd kind of get back into my own ways. And they'd say, you can get up on the table and do that if you want. Because <laughs> you just gave it to them. If the client's on a table and you got the bar stacked above and you work on it for 30 minutes and they conk out, do they know you got up on the table and used the bars? At no, first? some of the people, so some of the new people, I just like, this is what I do. And this is what they I were do? like, you're up on the, I said, so how did you like that work when I got up on the table? Because I figured if I did this and jostle around and I'm talking up here, yeah. they'd know it. Oh, you got up on the table? <laughs> When I work with people on a mat, it's, it's, a, it's very common for massage therapists in particular to like turn their head to like look at me to see what I'm using because they can't figure out right. if it's my feet, my hands, my knees. They have, they have no idea what it is that I'm using. Yeah. We're just playing. <laughs> I feel like a toy. I 
<laughs> so we have uh, five minutes uh, till the end of class today. Uh, we'll meet again tomorrow at 10 a.m. and get started. We'll just go right back to like, what do y'all want to work on? And go from there. Um, another full day. Uh, drink, you know, a little bit of water tonight. Take it easy on the tequila. Uh, take a bath or soak or whatever if you need to. It makes you feel better. Um, if you have kind of weird dreams or can't sleep or the or the the converse, like you sleep like a log, uh, sometimes that's fairly common. You received and gave a lot of body work today. Uh, do you guys have any questions about what we did today? Body mechanics, like just wasn't sure about something. I not about the body, but I have, you know, this subscription thing wrapping my brain around it. I'm probably going to have to hit my brain so a couple more tell me, times. Give, give it to me. You're, you're, you've got the videos. Yeah. But if I subscribe, I'm going to get all that anyway, right? What do you mean, get it all if anyway? If I do the seven, I'm going to get the information if I do the seven, you know, dollars subscription versus buying your videos. Okay, so it's a different vantage point. Okay. Cool. So when you uh, have this class, this class that I'm recording will eventually be in the vault. So you'll have access to the class you're taking, but you can see every table tie class I've taught for three years. You can see the same information presented to different students in a slightly different way because that student had a hip problem. You get to see the actual class, but it's not structured in the same exact way that the workbook and DVD gives an exact sequence, prone, supine, sideline. Does that make sense? Okay. Some people, and this is just what I notice, they seem to prefer one or the other. Do you prefer the sequence? I like seeing the sequence first. Yeah. Or, or I like watching all the classes first, and then I like watching the sequence. Then I want to go back to the scattered classes. Yeah. And so then, yeah. so these are the classes, right? I've got intro and table tie. That makes up a huge chunk of the vault. Kristen works with me indiv individually. She'll come in usually once or twice a week. I turn on the cameras and go, Kristen, what do you got? And she's worked with me for a year. We've gotten 20, 25 different individual sessions where basically, here's what happens. You get to watch Kristen's practice from the table to the mat to suspension and see how she progresses. You get access to that information for seven bucks a month, including a private Facebook group where you can ask me questions and I answer. Now what we're doing is we're adding another tier where we have an interactive live stream once a month, six hours, CE credit. You're live. You can call me while I'm working. And I go, oh, you can't see it? Okay. On my $7. Can, yeah, there we go. That's a better angle. No, this is 100 That's, that's and then I go, okay, no, let's flip it here. You can see it better there. I'm using this exact same technology to live stream so that you can ask me a question here in Arkansas and I can answer you in Austin. Do you have a continuing ed that I'm offering? Pre recorded. So I, I'm just now, when I get back on Sunday, um, I finished the last day of the table, uh, Thai style foot massage, six hours. Table base with cream, mat base without, table base with cream and Thai foot sticks and tools. It's a six hour foot class. When is that? It finishes on the 22nd. But I sold it to people for $100, the pre-recorded footage is 70 bucks, and you can buy the class after the fact. Because I just recorded a new class, but I recorded it live and interactive first to allow you to ask me questions. But if you want the pre-recorded footage, I can sell you that as well. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. and, we still get and then you get that? the CEUs for that. It, it, you do that. get NCB TMB credits. NCB, yeah. Whether your state accepts right, it is like yeah. that lady contacting me from New yeah. York. Like yeah. it's variable from state yeah. to state. And you're offering your mail. Yeah. So in 2021, my hope is I will release 12 new CE classes because I'm going to work with my subscriber. I'm literally going to my subscriber group for seven bucks and saying, what do you guys want next? And they're like, we need, we need rotator cuff work. And I'm like, okay, six hours. I'll see you next month. I'm literally letting them ask me a question and I answer it in six hour format and give them CE credit when they pay for the full thing. Does that make sense? <clears throat> the vault 
I'm telling you guys, we have 500 hours. It's too much. I could go in and start removing footage and people would not know because they're not capable of watching all 500 hours. That, to me, workbooks, DVDs, online classes, vault, is basically, my mom was getting mad at me recently. I'll tell you guys something about my mom. I love my mom to death. Uh, she wants me to give her grandbabies. And I'm pretty determined not to give her grandbabies. And she's like, well, what about our heritage? And I'm like, uh, bipolar disorder, depression, alcoholism. Which, which of those do you, would you like me to pass on? And she started to get more angry. And then I'm like, mom. I'm like, mom. Mom. My, my work is my legacy. Like, she doesn't understand that, like, I'm putting out stuff that probably is going to transform, I think, the industry long term. Like, we're releasing a video every other day at least. What happens when we release, oh, when Kristen and Andrea are working on me and building the brand and we triple our video production and start getting banned from Facebook groups because we keep educating and keep using video? What I'm doing is giving you an insider's view of my entire practice just completely throwing open the door. I think right now, three years later, I have the most documented bodywork practice in history because of this. Because yeah. I just set up the camera and like record everything. And they're like, oh my God. Um, I do a little bit more. I didn't, I didn't t until recently, it was only a couple months ago that I downloaded some editing software and started playing with it. Now I'm actually finding that I like it for various yeah. reasons. Yeah, my yeah. boyfriend's a world famous animal. Oh, cool. Really cool. cool. Um, it's, it's a different skill yeah. learning how to do that. Yes, it is really hard for that. The, yeah. the thing for you is, why do I give that big vault of information away for seven bucks? How much? People tell me it's, people a, yeah. people tell me it's the dumbest. The they to get all your they money. tell me it's the, yeah, it's the so dumbest hard. idea I've ever. They're like, Robert, this is dumb. You, sh you should be dumb. charging thousands of dollars for this. And I go, nope, seven bucks a month. Why? Seven times up. I'm not selling body work. I'm selling information. And information scales globally. People say, but it's only seven bucks. How are you making any money? And I go, if... If we got to the point, Allie, are you ready? I want to do some, we'll do some quick math with you. Allie, if we got to the point where we had, I'm charging seven bucks and we get 10,000 subscribers, how much do I make in a month? $70,000. I'll make $840,000 a year selling something for seven bucks if I can get 10,000 subscribers. That's why I give it away for $7. Because I want all the dedicated therapists to be like, oh my God, dude, look at what this guy's doing. This is dedication. You can keep working with me in an ongoing way until the next in-person class. You guys ready to head out? Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you all for your time and dedication. I really, really appreciate you. Uh, think about it tonight. If you have questions tomorrow, you can ask me first thing tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you.